Yeah, Mama, I will. Okay, you take care. I'll see you soon. I uh, guess you got the drift of all that. Mm-hmm. I don't see why your daddy wants to involve you and you and Oil. Honey, I'm not involved. It's just ten voting shares. J.R. know about it? Yeah, I guess he does. Why? Because I don't think he's going to be too happy about you having anything to say about you and Oil. Well, Ian, I don't care about J.R. Look, um, Mama sounded kind of upset. I think I ought to go back to South Fork. Gary, you know what happens every time you go back there. Honey, we went back for Lucy's wedding and everything was fine. I know. I just get that, that funny feeling every time you're around your family. Look, I can handle South Fork if I have to. place never changes, does it? Well, it always looks the same anyway. I guess things are different for you with Sue Ellen and John Roscoe and Daddy down in South America. And Lucy splitting up with Mitch and moving back home. It's just been one thing after another. Well, that's one of the reasons I came home. Thought I might be of some help to you for a change. You know I'm happy to see you. And I'm glad that you're here. Come on. I'll make you some lunch. Fine, Mama. I, um, I think I'll just stay out here for a while and I'll get me some of this good Texas air. Oh, Mama, back from the airport already? Yes. You just going to work? Yeah. It's been years since I slept this late. How's Gary? He's fine, J.R., just fine. And I'd like him to stay that way. Well, we all would. Did he bring that pretty little wife with him? No, she's busy in California. Yeah, I'll bet she is. Well, I gotta make up for some lost time. You have a nice day here. Yeah, it's not like Gary to miss dinner's first night back. He and Lucy are having dinner together. They had a lot to talk about. Mostly how she got rid of that nitwit husband of hers, I guess. Don't you ever let up, J.R.? Well, darling, this family's not really famous for good marriages, except for Mom and Daddy, of course. Donna and Ray are very happy. So are Bobby and Pam. Sorry, wrong again. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Well, how was the dinner? Oh, it was great. I don't think we ever stopped talking once. You had a lot decided, did you? As a matter of fact, we did. Anything we'd all be interested in? Yeah, I think so. And since all four of Daddy's sons are here tonight, I reckon I'll tell you. Well, for that matter, all the Ewing vote holders are here, except John Ross. What are you talking about, Gary? Well, one of the reasons Daddy split up the voting shares is because he couldn't be here to help JR run the company. We all know why Daddy split those shares up. Well, my being in California keeps me away as well. But, Gary, those are your voting shares no matter where you are. Well, the point is, I've given it some thought, and I think it's just too rough, me being out there with those shares. So I've decided to give someone else my voting proxy. You sure you want to do that, Gary? Jock gave those shares to you. I think he was just being kind. Oh, come on, Gary, don't sell yourself short. Would you all please let him get on with it, would you? As I was saying, I've decided to give my shares to the one that I think should have them. That's one of the things Lucy and I were talking about. I'm giving them to her. 